Hey guys, welcome back to Persona 4 Gold, and let's carry on where we left off. I decided to go back and review the other Valentine's Day event that we have unlocked. It is, of course, rejecting Yukiko and, I suppose, hanging out with the boys instead. So, we've got this nice somber music playing because I am still procrastinating the end of this game. A deserted hallway. Let's go. I also coincidentally have lost access to my controller, so I will be using keyboard and mouse for the rest of the game. Thank God it came <laughs> right at the ass end of it all. Uh, we're not going to be skipping. I just need to get used to all the controls. You came to see Yukiko. I didn't mean to have that come out like that, but I couldn't go back. Uh-huh. Yukiko has a conflicted expression on her face. I'm sorry that, uh, I didn't go ahead with your plans this afternoon. Uh, it was a really lovely time at the beach, but I do need to view what happens when we hang out with the lads. Um, this is for you. It's a bit large. Of course, the lovely chocolates that you made for us. Yukiko gives you a special chocolate gift. Actually, I was thinking that we could go somewhere together after this and share it, just the two of us. Uh-huh. But that's just me. I'm kidding myself. Oh god, I don't have to feel so I didn't realize I'd, you know, actively reject her. I thought we'd just go straight to the guys. Like, I don't wanna- I don't want this sadness. Uh, this is what I get for rejecting her plans. Where are you going after this? What are you gonna do? Uh, you know, bros before. <clears throat> I can't tell you. Let's go out sometime later. You're not telling your girlfriend what you're doing. On Valentine's oh Day. Oh my god, no, I can't. I can't handle this. Just Nixine. Uh, Nixine, please. I, I am your girlfriend, right? Yes, you are. You absolutely are. And we had a wonderful time in a parallel universe. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh god, I need to re I need to re uh, redo that scene again after this, I swear. I just get worried sometimes. I, I'm crazy, aren't I? No, I mean, you know, it is Valentine's Day. I should be spending time with my girlfriend. It's not that I don't have any trust in you. I, I know, I know. I guess I'm not that confident about who I am. Oh god, <laughs> straight to the gut. We're starting this episode with a different kind of depression. I was hoping for, you know, end of game depression, not rejecting my girlfriend in sadness. And I think of you as someone that I can't have all to myself. <laughs> it's strange. Oh, I'm chewing my nails. An awkward silence fills the air. However, you have already declined Yukiko's offer. Oh, <laughs> you part ways with a dour Yukiko and leave the hallway. Juness Food Court. You, Yosuke, and others came here with nothing better to do. Alright, boys, where are we going? Vegas? Huh? Is this the hangover? Part one? <sighs> Yosuke, why do you look so hopeful? This better be worth it. Oh, hey, it's the guy uh, from the hallway who's worried about his grandmother in the hospital. He's here at the food court. I hope all is well. Hopeful? What are you talking about? Oh. Wow. Excuse me. Right up to Yosuke. Come on, dude. Don't avert eyes with her. What are you doing? Yes! <laughs> Where's a trash can? I thought she was going to ask for a bathroom, but yeah, trash can is the equivalent. The, uh, the trash can. Equivalent in this scenario, not equivalent as, you know, never mind. <laughs> Give it up, Yosuke. It's over. You're only going to get yourself hurt. You'll see. Uh, Yosuke, you should have brought up the fact that you fell into a trash can at the very beginning of the game. She might have been impressed <laughs> that you were a stand-in for a trash can. Shut up! Don't you... you'll see me! Ugh, just because Teddy has so much charm oozing out of his red suit. You don't understand the true strength of a man's heart. I know I don't have anything waiting for me, but I can't give up my hope. It's my only weapon against the Valentine's monster! Dude, we ha you had all year to prepare for this day, okay? Hopefully you've learned your lesson, and 2013's Valentine's Day will go much smoother for you. Oh, I'm pathetic. Hey, that's so rude! I know you got chocolate from Chie chan and some other girls! Plus, Valentine's Day is overrated anyway. It's just an excuse to go out on a date with someone, really. <laughs> all the restaurants get booked out and what, like, just... Why don't you just celebrate Valentine's Day every week, instead of just once a year? How sad is that? 
I know that. And it was 100% friend zone chocolate. And you ate it all anyway. What, Teddy? Why are you taking Yosuke's stash? It was so good. Didn't you get your own? That was bargain price chocolate from Juness. I put the sales stickers on them myself, I know. Oh dear, I wonder if Chie knowingly did that. Hey, since you ate all my chocolate, when White Day rolls around, it's your responsibility to make it up to me. Oh, don't you worry. All the ladies will get Teddy's love. <laughs> ah, don't say stuff like that. Yukiko will sew your mouth shut. Wait, she does that? Oh shit, I shouldn't have rejected her. Oh god, my mouth. <laughs> it's being threatened. Oh, never mind then. I'll give them my winning Topsicle Sticks. They're a Teddy family bear loom. Your, your family bear loom? You just started your family, barely. <laughs> God. And, yo, and Kanji, why are you so upset for You had a chance with Naoto. Why didn't you go ahead and make, make something out of it? Oh, God, dude. Don't give girls something that you've licked all over. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? Don't you have a bunch of dates? Huh? Yeah, well, I felt sorry for you guys, you know. <laughs> Figured you could use the company. Oh, <laughs> this sounded like more fun. To rejoice in male friendship, or to be angry that you're not as desperate as us, that is the question. Hmm, indeed. Hey, Yosuke! Your younger brother, Kanji-kun, is acting weirder than normal. He's acting weird? I mean, he's silent, sure, but is that weird? What? Why are you calling him my brother all of a sudden? We're brothers in arms, all of us, aren't we? You're brothers in nobody's arms. <laughs> Family that's lonely together is bronely together. <laughs> just, just shut up! Don't call us that! Don't even mention it again! At least we have each other, right guys? Eh? Right? Yeah. On Valentine's Day, there's nothing more sacred than the fellowship of the bros. Anyway, you have been quiet this whole time. What's going on with you, man? Are you disappointed that Naoto... Oh, Yosuke... No, I wasn't expecting anything from her, and I don't think of her like that anyway. Oh, really? Okay, all right. You say Stop so. Stop acting so tough. Then what is it? Well, uh... Yes? Senpai, I want you to have this! Me? Okay. Oh... Kanji gives you a piece of chocolate that looks like Teddy, in excruciating detail. Damn, I was about to say, is this a voodoo doll of Teddy? Could I, like, toss him in the air and he'll go flying as well? Wow, so now it's time for guys to give chocolate to each other? Hey, man, Kanji's a bro. I'll happily take it from him. That's not the person you're supposed to give that to. Wait, unless... Oh, Yosuke, you jealous you didn't get one from Kanji? Well, damn, I'm just that attractive. No, it's not like that. I I owe Senpai so much, and I've never been able to pay him back. Oh, dude. That's fine. You don't owe me anything. Your friendship is more than enough. But he's gonna go away soon. I know. I know. So I thought I'd do this, at the very least. Jeez, nobody ever did this for me back in the city, I'm sure. Right? Suppose we'll find out in Persona 4.5. Kanji's gift is heavy with gratitude. And chocolate. Ooh, really? Heavy chocolate? Yeah, that's right. This is a present from Kanji and me. It'd mean a lot to us if you take it. Oh, don't you do that. Don't you slide in and pretend to have contributed to that. I'm sure that was all Kanji's doing. Hey, what now? You seriously telling me you helped make Teddy chocolate? <laughs> you found me out! It's a present from me to you! <laughs> Surprise! Oh god, you too. It's a cuddly, waddly, choco teddy hug pillow! Hold on to it on those lonely nights for sweet, ridiculous dreams! At least Teddy has some minuscule claim to this because it's based on his likeness, but Yosuke, come on! <laughs> Stop teaching Teddy to piggyback off other people's gifts! You can feel the affection that Yosuke and Teddy have for you. Hey, don't jump on my bandwagon. Besides, if you hold on to it, it's gonna melt. <laughs> Wait, you have non-chocolate teddy hug pillows? What? Yeah, damn, I missed that. I want one! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You spent Valentine's Day with just the guys, but it was far from emotionless. Are you sure? Because I was pretty damn cold rejecting my girlfriend just then. Well, I suppose it's now that time where we say goodbye to our friends and acquaintances we've made over the past year. My goodness me, it's all crept up on us so quickly. Hello, young child. Let's start with you. What? <laughs> Don't be nervous. I'm just I'm saying goodbye to everyone. You just happen to be the first person I'm seeing. I know how to ride a bus. You enter at the front, and then you pay, or do you get on at the back? What bus am I supposed to be riding? It's not the hospital one, or the hot springs one. Mom said a bunch of buses come through here. Oh, I feel you, kid. I understand public transport anxiety when you're going to ride for the first time. Just look at the signs, make sure you follow the timetable correctly. Your mom really should have been here to help you out, but... <sighs> I guess it's fine. Hello. Now, I'm waiting for him. Lately we've been playing a lot. Oh, that's so nice to hear. You and Aaron Boy have made a wonderful friendship, and I hope to see you guys get together in the in the future when I come back to this town. It's fun because I'm not alone. Aw, that's a bit heartwarming, isn't it? Chie Satanaka. Whoa, Sokun! He caught me off guard! <laughs> oh, um, I was just thinking of you. And you suddenly showed up, so... Chie's laughing, embarrassed. Tomorrow's the day, huh? I thought a lot about you, and I... I decided to come here, in front of the bookstore, because this is how you know me, I, I see. I was thinking, what can I do for you? And I figured crying or feeling sad about you leaving wasn't it. So I made up my mind. I'm gonna show you what you've taught me. Oh, we're gonna beat some bullies up? I bought a book. Oh, for your studies. It's called How to Become a Police Officer. I told you I wanted to become strong so I could protect what matters most to me, right? So you're gonna become a police officer. Chie, I'm proud of you. Well, I want to protect this town. We all worked hard to win this piece. I want to keep it this way. And you know what? I think you'll have some extra credentials on your resume that no one will ever understand, but should anything supernatural happen in this town again, you'll be the most qualified to do so if I hadn't moved back here by that point. You can't be certain that no incident like this will ever happen again, right? Hmm, well you and Nalto can join forces. This is where all my best friends are. It's where I met you. So I thought maybe I'd become a cop and have Dojima-san put me through the ringer. Just don't turn out like a dachi, please. Make sure you're not joining the police force just so you can hold a gun. It sounds like you're on the right track wanting to protect this town, though. Chie is smiling cheerfully. So go home proud. We'll be fine here. Hopefully she doesn't get, like, transferred to the city and she has that same resentment. Come back anytime. We'll all be waiting for you. You feel a tight bond with Chie. You still have to say goodbye to everyone else, right? Go ahead. Go. Chie is smiling sadly. There are others you formed true bonds with. You should go say goodbye to them. Oh man, what about the people I didn't form true bonds with? I suppose maybe I can still say goodbye to them? Margaret, you're here in place of Marie, interestingly enough. Oh, hello. Hello. You have come. I have come, yes, indeed. I was waiting for you. I wanted to see you before you left. Though... Parting words aren't what I have for you. I was going to say, you could have come see me on the inevitable nap I'm going to take on the train. Remember, the heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Do you know what action will shake both of our hearts? Uh, well, excuse me, I'm still in high school, you know? Jeez. And I have a girlfriend. I may have rejected her, but... Oh, just for Valentine's Day, by the way. Not, not completely. We haven't broken up or anything. Jeez. Margaret. A goodbye kiss. <laughs> no, she didn't deny it. <laughs> For us residents, I'm sure this is a sin. Oh, yeah, well, it's probably illegal out here in the real world as well. <laughs> now, close your eyes. Okie dokie. Eyes shut. Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. Oh, you naughty girl, you. Okay, all right. I won't tell. Oh. Mm. Oh my, oh my, oh god. She did it. She actually did it. I was, I was joking. 
<laughs> oh god, Chiang, you didn't see anything. Turn around, I hope she's just engrossed in her police officer book. Speaking of which, uh, anyway, you feel a solid bond between you and Margaret. No, she just Why whispered something in my ear. Oh, no, Is she... that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. Excuse me? Are you the poetry writer all this time? <laughs> oh gosh. Will I ever see you again, I wonder? Wow. So that's it then, huh? Well then. Farewell. Kisses me. Wonders if she'll ever see me again. Jeez. There are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. Rize, don't tell me you're gonna give me a peck on the lips as well. Out of towner? It's been nice knowing you. Oh, it's been a while, huh? So, have I told you this? I've been taking walks with that Egyptian woman. Oh, really? I remember you were so shocked about her appearance before, but now you're going on romantic walks, huh? She seems to know a lot, and just being with her makes me happy somehow. It isn't very exciting, but it's not bad. Talking to her makes me like this town even more. I came to the country to escape, but <laughs> maybe I really came to rediscover myself. <laughs> well, you certainly fallen for an interesting woman. Rize. Oh, Senpai. Where are you going? I'm going home. Uh, nowhere in particular. You're just looking around? This town? The people here? What we went through? Will they all be just memories to you eventually? Senpai? Well, yeah, that's how it works, right? I can't cling on to this past glory forever. Imagine when I'm 50 years old, bragging about how I solved a crime in Inaba. I'll be that guy that shows up to family dinners harping on about 30 years ago when I went to Inaba for a year. I told you before, right? I'm returning to showbiz starting spring. I went to voice training today to prepare myself for that. You see, I'm re-debuting myself with a new album. I'm writing all the lyrics myself. Well... I got a D in composition, so they aren't exactly masterpieces. But you know, a lot of stuff's happened while I was on break. And I'm sure you've re-energized and refueled your creativity juices, especially after what we've gone through, right? I made friends. Dear friends. Everyone was so nice to me. And that too, she's found like, newfound resolve. She's got friends that actually care for her and aren't uh, merely tied to her because of her celebrity status. Sure, it may have started out that way for some people like Yosuke, but... In the end, I think we've... She's definitely an important component of our group dynamic. In the end. <laughs> As the clingy girl who's not even my girlfriend. I want to express that to everyone who will listen. My deepest feelings in my own words. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared of putting the real me out there for people to see. But I can't give in to that fear, right? No, absolutely not. I'll work hard for all my fans out there. I'm going to make a huge comeback. So, wish me luck. Good luck, Rize. I wish you all the best, truly, from the bottom of my heart. Of course. It'll be lonely. Gosh! <laughs> Thank you, Senpai. I know that you'll be watching me on the other side of the camera. I'll keep thinking that way as I work. I feel a close bond between yourself and Rize. I look back at Juness now, and I feel all these good memories of us. Maybe I'll offer to appear in a commercial for Juness. Then you'll all remember the times we had every time you see it. But then, we'll all feel a bit lonely afterwards, huh? I like how I'm getting this huge fanfare, like, you know, oh man, Senpai's going back to the city. But Rize, she's also going back to the city because she's undertaking her idol career again. But <laughs> there isn't as much. Well, I suppose maybe it's all just happened off screen or maybe I'm the priority because I'm going home first. Senpai, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll say goodbye. And I, I won't cry. I'm so glad the fog's gone. I mean, it's still foggy over in the other world, but it's a clear blue sky over here. We can see you off on a happy note. Well, see you later. There are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. Well, Shu Nakajima, you're next, buddy. Oh, Sensei. What a coincidence meeting you here. What are you doing? Say goodbye to people. <laughs> Goodbye? What are you talking about? Yeah, I know, right? I said goodbye to you months ago when we cancelled our tutoring sessions. I'm leaving town tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow? That's so sudden. That's what happens when, you know, I don't teach you every week. We lose contact, it seems. Our relationship was strictly business, after all. 
I have a baseball game tomorrow. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm not going to be there. But I want to see you off. She was panicking. Uh, you know what? Just call in sick. He told you that it's okay if he can't come. Oh, okay. Well, you... Just like that, you roll it over. Damn it, you're supposed to fight back. You're supposed to be like, but I, I need to see you go, Sensei. I need to see you get on that train and be there for you. But it's fine. Your baseball game's clearly more important than I ever was. <laughs> then, can I tell you something I've always wanted to say? I made a friend. He's in the store right now, buying ice cream. It's the guy who transferred here that I told you about before, remember? Ah, I see. If you can't beat him, join him. Nice. I see you're taking that lesson to heart. He's a fun guy, and he's nice. He spoke up for me when I got suspended for cheating. And thanks to him, I have other friends now. He's teaching me about comics and video games. And in return, I help him study. Sometimes we do our homework together. <laughs> I never thought that fun was something you could have every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, I yearn for that kind of lifestyle where I can have fun every day. Fortunately, there's work for five days of the week. Instead of being afraid and running away, I should have just faced it head on. Sensei, thank you very much. Um, your, your tutoring was great. I really learned a lot. Yeah, not just uh, school subjects though, right? I taught you life. Shu smiles like the happiest kid in the world. Oh, really? Oh, you're competing with Nanako there. You felt very close to Shu. Then again, she must have felt guilty after that Valentine's Day chocolate she fed me. Chocolate, quote unquote. I'm going to hit a home run tomorrow. It'll go so far, it'll reach your train. Uh, I doubt that. You know, I taught you physics, Shu. You should know that your baseball is probably not going to reach my train, but I appreciate the metaphor. <laughs> Please don't forget about me, even if you're far away. I'll remember you too. I'm glad you came to this town. It must have been scary for you, though, with those murders. <laughs> yeah. Those only happened while you were here, huh? <laughs> you must have bad luck. Yep, let me just put this knife away. Sensei, thank, thank you. <laughs> there are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. Were you drinking there, Shu? You hiccuped. I'm not going to be able to say goodbye to the drunk people. I wonder if they're around town. Ah, here we are, Erin boy. She isn't here yet. She told me to wait here for her. Oh no, she's down the road, dude. Go say hi to her. What? It's none of your business. I just want to see her and hang out together with her. Is that bad? No, of course not. It's a free country. You can do whatever you like. Now that I'm leaving, of course, everything that went through this town had to go through me first. Ah, welcome. Going somewhere? Please feel free to buy one of our signature dishes to take with you. Oh, okay, sure, why not? Let me go grab some. Marie, you're standing in the way. Thank you. Hang on, I'll be with you in a second. You should have no reason to come here anymore. You have yet to speak with some of the people who are close to you. Oh, damn. Well, I guess not. I'm not taking anything. Sozai Daigaku? Oh, not Sozai Daigaku. Sorry. Aya, uh, you should have no reason to come here anymore. I never got to finish the Mega Beef Ball. Sad face. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I was too late. You're leaving, aren't you? Leaving me behind. Stupid liar blockhead. I didn't even want you to save me. And you did? And now you're doing this? You're welcome to come with, you know? It's not like you're tied to this town, but... Uh, you've got friends here as well. I'm going to be lonely. We'll meet again. Of course we will. If we weren't going to meet again, I wouldn't let you go. Oh, okay. It's like that. Hey, I went out and got something to eat by myself. Those... steak thingies. Skewers. Whatever they're called. I can't... I can walk around town, even without your help. The bond between us has connected me to this world. It's kind of lonely, but I'm going to explore the town without you. I'm not scared anymore. If I don't take any steps forward, I won't learn anything. Exactly. So make new memories, Marie. Even though I won't be here to share them with you, you'll be able to share them with me when uh, we meet again. I'm going to find out more and more about this outside world. And next time you come, I'll be showing you around. Marie is acting proud. <laughs> Well, I look forward to you being my tour guide when I come back. You feel a tight bond between you and Marie. You're going to say goodbye to everyone else, right? You're always like that. I'll see you again. Thank you. There are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. I love that we're ending this tour with uh, your affection. Kanji! Whoa, senpai! 
W what are you doing here? Kanji seems to be panicking for some reason. It's okay, I'm not here to return the chocolate you made over a month ago. Will you talk with him? Of course I will. Oh, Mrs. Tatsumi. Oh, hello, Soka. I heard you're leaving tomorrow. You know, Kanji's been acting all sad and lonely lately. Sh shut up, you old bat! Oh, come on, there's no way to speak with your mother. I thought you reconciled with her. I told you not to speak to me that way. Oh, good. Tell him off, Kanji's mother. Anyway, have you told him about the handicraft class? Thank you for being such a role model for my son, Soka. You're quite welcome, Mrs. Tatsumi. Come visit here sometime, all right? Goodbye now. Aww. Your mom was very sweet. <sighs> y you didn't hear what she said, did you? She was literally talking to me and she was five feet away. <laughs> Handicraft class? Ugh. See, a bunch of customers like those knitted dolls we sold and they asked me how to make them. S so, I'm gonna hold classes on how to do it. Okay, cool, wow. Nice, that's a pretty good gig. L laugh it up, why don't you? Hey, you're making money. Uh, I, I'm assuming you're making money out of this, and if you are, shit, well done. <laughs> don't laugh. Come on, man. Senpai. It was my decision, though. If people want to learn, and if I could teach them, hell, why not, you know? I'm still kind of embarrassed, though. But, uh, it kind of feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> It's only because of you that I thought I could face up to who I am, Senpai. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <sighs> Kanji has a refreshing smile on his face. I just love, like, how everyone's thanking me. Like, I was so profound and helped them discover, like, amazing truths about themselves. You feel a solid bond between you and Kanji. Although they did most of the work, I was just here for moral support, you know? Are you gonna say goodbye to the others later? Well... It ain't like this is the last time we'll see each other. Our friendship ain't just just on the surface. Funny how we got the murder case to thank for that. We put an end to that stuff, right? The Dachi's in the slammer, and the fog's all cleared up. Yep, surely there's nothing else. It's all thanks to you, Senpai. Yo, Senpai, when you go, don't turn back around, okay? Why not? I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to look over my shoulder and see what I'm going to be missing out on until I come back. See ya. Okay, Kanji. I'll see you around. There are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. Looks like he's wandered back inside. Cool, so... Naoki, you're up. Oh, Sosan. What are you doing here? You're moving tomorrow, right? Don't you have more important things to do? Hey, you're important. I still gotta say goodbye to you. I, I came to talk to you. With me? You really are a strange person. Oh, just to let you know, I just got back from school. I told them to stop treating me special next year. If I didn't speak up now, who knows how the classes would have been organized. And I was just about to go deliver some goods. I got a scooter license, so I'm actually helping out now. I see. Well, good on you, Naoki. I was wondering why you were wearing your school uniform, actually, but you answered that question, you went to school to tell them not to treat you special. There aren't that many people who come to the store out of pity anymore, so we gotta work really hard. <laughs> Time marches on, huh? Naoki's smiling cheerfully. Oh, did you know our top-selling product? Oh, well, well, I'll be happy to take it off your hands. Handcrafted eau de toilette. We use sake instead of ethanol, and it's become pretty popular. Really? Well, geez. Can I uh, sponsor it? Name it after me, why don't you? <laughs> to tell you the truth, it was my idea. I heard some girls talking about it, so I did some research. Well, it may not be what a proper liquor store would sell, but it's selling, so it's good for business. Nice, that's adaptation, you know, Juness is in town, stealing a lot of business from the shopping district. You gotta, you gotta adapt, and it seems like you have. Well done. I suppose it's also good for uh, drunk people to try and mask the smell of their breath, as well as, uh, you know, people getting pre-drinks from your liquor store before hitting the clubs. They probably could use your cologne before then. I feel like I'm back on my own two feet. And I can start moving forward again. It's all thanks to you. Thank you very much. Naoki is smiling. I feel that the bond between you and Naoki is very tight. Uh, alcohol is interesting. I can't drink it yet, of course, since I'm underage. I was thinking about studying it once I got to college. Really? 
I never thought I'd feel this way back then. It seems as if Sis died a long time ago. The killer's been caught, so I just hope nothing like this ever happens again. Good on you, Naoki. I know it's not easy. Moving on, especially losing your sister in such a vile way. I really do wish that. Oh, I'm sorry. You're probably in the middle of talking to everyone, aren't you? I'll see you later. There are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. You wonder how the fox is doing. Maybe you should call out to it at the sh main shrine building. Yep, that's a good point. Let's go to the main shrine building. Say goodbye. It's probably going to demand some more money out of me. Uh, Bug Kid's not here. The two girls arguing over the kid's name. What was his name? Was it Shota? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Fox! This is the shrine's main building. What will you do? Call the fox. Tatsuhime Shrine. The shrine seems to be prospering, as some objects are shimmering with a golden sheen. You don't see the fox. Perhaps it left. Well, no, I don't think so. Hello. Hmm? What's a young man like you doing in an old place like this? This place was bustling with visitors not too long ago, but these days you see less and less. Yeah, well, I retired from fulfilling people's wishes. I guess there's a decline in patronage since then. I heard the town was considering tearing the place down because someone stole money from the offertory box. Oh, really? Damn, what a scumbag. Also heard some fox had taken up a home here, and they were going to haul it off to an animal shelter. Oh, oh my. Too many rumors these days. Remember that one about how the fog was making everyone sick? Or that other one? What was it called? Midnight Radio? That was popular with the kids, all right. <laughs> Midnight Radio. My grandson and his friends were all into it. Funny, I remember something kind of like that happening when I was a kid, too. Wonder who starts these rumors. Oh, really? The Midnight Channel existed all the way back then, huh? I wonder who the hero was at that time. Oops, I almost forgot. I was supposed to pick up some juice for my grandson, and you just wandered into the shrine. Why? Because <laughs> you saw me here? You just needed someone to chat with? Okay. Bye. You wonder if the fox was taken to an animal shelter, as that old man said. You decided to leave the shrine. You feel a presence watching you. There oh! You got... a plus one, or plus three! It's the fox, and it's children. The fox family seems to be welcoming you. No, I ain't paying for child support, okay? <laughs> but, uh, I'm proud of you. They look like they're doing fine. The fox's happiness reminds you of the close bond you share with it. Aw. <laughs> ain't that sweet. There are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. Come to think of it, what has happened to Sayoko? You should visit the place where you spent time with her. You can get to eat up a municipal hospital from the bus stop at the shopping district. Okay, looks like she's back in town, hopefully. Or maybe we're just leaving a message. I'm not quite sure. Okay, bus stop it is. So all our bond mates are gone as soon as I speak with them, so there is hope that Chie did not see what transpired in front of the velvet room door. It's the bus stop. Where do you want to go? Inaba Municipal Hospital. I can also go to the Amagi Inn. Interesting. Inaba Municipal Hospital. You overhear two nurses talking. Have you heard about Oehara-san? They seem to be talking about Sayoko. She joined some volunteer organization and went to Africa. Africa? I never thought she'd be the kind of person who would go there. Well, she seemed to be taking her job really seriously towards the end of her time here. She even studied during break. Really? Well, that is pretty damn cool. Do you remember when we were talking about the rumors of the Midnight Channel? She wasn't interested at all. Oh, I remember those rumors. It's not that I know where they started. But yeah, now that you mention it, Uehara-san was never around when we were chatting about them. She was studying some foreign language, wasn't she? She was trying to learn English and some African languages. She read a lot of medical books, too. I see. But why Africa? Why'd she join a volunteer organization? What's the point? Because she's going after a greater calling. She wants to be serious in her nursing duties. I'd rather marry a guy, raise kids, and be an ordinary housewife. Well, that's you, slum nurse, obviously. That's what I used to think, too. But watching Uihara-san kind of made me feel different about it. She did seem to have a boyfriend, though. A very young one, too. Oh, gosh. She's still at it. Oh, it must have been that kid who was working here part-time. 
Oh, wow, damn, man. I am a cougar hunter or something. I don't know the details, but he seemed to really mean something to her. Oh, really? She once told me that she was trying to do her best to live up to him. Do her best, huh? I feel I have to try harder, too. Well, you ain't getting together with me, Slim Nurse, okay? I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see where she was coming from. Let's get back to work and do our best. Well, she's in Africa. It seems that Sayako is working hard in a foreign country. Even though Sayako has gone, her life here has changed people for the better. I feel a close bond between Sayako and herself. I wonder which country. Hmm. You decide to go back to the town. There are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. Come to think of it, you have yet to say goodbye to Yukiko. You should visit the Amagi Inn. You can get to the Amagi Inn from the bus stop at the shopping district. Here we go. The Amagi Inn. Welcome to... Hmm? Sokun. Oh, that's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Thanks for coming to see me before you leave. Uh, well, it's to make up for Valentine's Day. I'm very happy. It means a lot to me. I, I was thinking of spending today as just another day. Helping with the housework, taking a long bath, and going to sleep. So I can... I, I can say goodbye without crying. <laughs> But uh, I failed miserably. I kept thinking about you. And on top of that, here you are, right in front of me. You're not helping at all. I'm sorry. You're so mean. What? What did I do? That's it. I'm leaving town with you tomorrow. We, we are? Okay, well, shit. <laughs> oh, damn, man. I was going to introduce you to my parents. And uh, you were going to come to high school with me. <laughs> Just kidding. For now. You know, after I decided to stay here and become the manager, I realized how afraid I was. Whether I could meet all the responsibilities. Whether I'll be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought of things like that. But I've made my decision. Now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I'll do my best to overcome the fear. And you'll be in my heart while I do so good. We'll be together. Even when we're apart. I promise I won't turn away from my problems and fears. I'm going to meet every challenge head on. No matter how hard it seems. Remember what Ameno Sagiri said? If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. That's not what I wish for. You wish to be with me. And that's fine. That's totally fine. We'll maintain our long distance relationship. I'll face myself. No matter what happens. Thank you. You're welcome. I will always love you. Oh, well, I love you too, Yukiko. You feel a solid bond between you and Yukiko. Um, well, I, I should get back to work. I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. There are others you share a close bond with. You should so go say goodbye to them. Come to think of it, what has happened to Hasano? You should visit the place where you spent time with her. Hasano was always standing around the riverbank of Samagawa floodplain. Thank you for reminding me of where she was. Before that, though, I should uh, say goodbye to the school. It's spring break, but school is open to students today. Enter? Yes, I didn't realize I could. Okay, I thought I was just going to approach the gate. Oh, slouching student. Yo, transfer dude, what brings you here on your day off? Me? Heh, <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm just getting some stuff set up while I got the chance. Oh. More pranks, huh? Too bad I'm not going to be around to see him. Well, good luck. How do I turn the camera? Oh my gosh, there we go. Learning keyboard controls again. Slouching student, you're here by yourself? Oh dear, unsupervised pranks are going to be abound. Let's say goodbye to the practice building. These halls. Where's that artisan student? He's not here. Excellent. Kind of didn't want to see him after he stiffed me for so long on the mop. <laughs> Oh god, oh, Hanako, you're here. What are you doing in this class? Why are you sitting in my old seat? That is my seat, right? Excuse me? What? what? Th this is your seat? Uh, I just got it wrong. So stop looking at me. Y you don't suspect me, do you? Suspect you of what? Uh, I'm not the one who put something in your shoe locker. What? It wasn't me. Okay. That was a suspiciously specific denial there, Hanako. 
Right. Well, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Goodbye. Damn, these holes are empty. No one here. I wonder if it's because I didn't max out any of my clubs. Maybe they would have been standing, you know, where I usually meet them. Not even funky students here. Okay, let's go to the roof. No teachers, nothing. I'm never gonna find out what happened with the uh, girl on the rooftop and my, the guy in my class. Never gonna find out what's happened with the guy in glasses and his superiority complex in terms of exams. I'm never gonna find out about the girl um, who hung outside the library and her senpai. At least I, Ebihara, is here. Same with Naoto. Let's start with Naoto. Hello! Oh, senpai. Do you have business at school, too? You are my business here, Naoto. Same with I. Oh, that's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Saying goodbye to your teachers. I would if they were here, but they aren't. That's right. That's very kind of you. Well then, please excuse me. Oh, hang on a second. You're not getting away that easy. Having a last look at the school, huh? Can I come with you? I already did, but sure, why not? Let's make the rounds again. This town has become so peaceful. Oh. Well, not that I'm disappointed. It's just that for me to remain here without you or a case to solve... Well, you can mentor Chie. How about that, huh? I feel somewhat listless. I know this sounds awkward, since we've already discussed it before and came to a satisfactory conclusion that the reason for me being here has nothing to do with the case. Perhaps it's just your departure that's making me lonely. Hey, you've got Kanji, and you've got the rest as well. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm making trouble for you. No, I should apologize. Please, don't apologize. It's not your fault for moving home. I'm sure this is hardly the last time I'll face a situation such as this in my life. Well, you know, if you ever need help solving a... Solving a case, I'm... Just a phone call away. You know that, right? I appreciated our early rivalry that ramped up into a nice, tight friendship. I'll remain here in Inaba, Senpai. Of course, from time to time, my services will be required elsewhere. Like in Tokyo a couple of years from now? <laughs> if only. If only you picked up on the fact that some weird shenanigans were going on, stealing hearts and whatnot, especially because it's another phantom thief. But Inaba is my hometown now. I want to treasure the precious time I've spent with you, solving the case together. The Midnight Channel, Personas, Ameno Sagiri. My duty is to stay here and get to the bottom of these mysteries. To be honest, the thought of it makes me a bit lonely. Hmm. Please don't forget your time here. I will not. Not a doubt. You feel a solid bond between you and Nato. I'll be at the station tomorrow with the others. So this is our last chance to talk. Just the two of us. No, of course it won't be. I can go visit you anytime, and vice versa. I don't know about me visiting anytime, but I hope I can in the future, considering I have family here. Senpai, don't you have other farewells to say? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You have not spoken to everyone with whom you formed a strong bond yet. You should speak to them before your departure. Hello, I. Oh. So, what's wrong? You get hit with extra homework too? That's not it. I was gonna go see you later. I came to see you. <laughs> really? Then, are you free right now? Sure. I really like I. You guys were right. I remember being apprehensive at first, and I thought she was just a total cow, but... Honestly, you know, I'm gonna miss her. I really like the growth she had. Do you remember this rooftop? You stopped me when I was thinking about jumping off. Yeah. Not your finest hour. Thinking back on it, that was pretty dumb. Thank you. I really need to thank you, so. You stopped me, and you listened. Thank you. I'm glad I was able to tell you that before you left. I... I felt terrible after you rejected me. But since you'll be going away, I had to find the courage to tell you. I'll always remember the time I spent with you fondly. Thank you. And isn't it a good thing then that I rejected you if I'm going to be leaving you behind? My goodness. I've been thinking about the future lately. 
Not so much about college or jobs or anything like that, but that I want to become a nicer person. Good. Well, this is the year to do it, okay? Does that sound like a weird goal? Good for you. Yeah, huh? I knew you'd understand. I'm... I'm glad I met you. I don't know what I'd be like if I hadn't. Maybe I'd be totally into that Midnight Channel. Oh, and spreading a bunch of rumors, too. <laughs> I could never see that happening to me now. I must have went through a pretty drastic change. You already went through a change if what you said was true before about how you were unattractive and sleazy. Hmm. Now you've done it again. Well done. I has a beaming smile on her face. You feel a close bond between I and yourself. End of conversation. It made me so nervous saying all that. I've never done it before, so that was all rehearsed, huh? Well, it's fine. Why don't you go say goodbye to your other friends? I'm sure they're waiting for you. I think I'll head home. My extra class is over. No, I'm not gonna say goodbye. I'll see you later, so. Alright, before we go though, what the hell has that girl done? This is your shoe locker. There's nothing inside. Huh? Hang on a second. There's nothing in here. Is she saying she's the one who's been putting things in my shoe locker this entire year every time I had good exam results? Son of a bitch. Asano, you're here. My. So, John. My, my. What a coincidence. We really are connected by fate. <laughs> Shall we talk like old times? Sure. Goodness, I am so happy. You sound elated. I am so happy that you're happy, Sano. Oh, just like old times. I just went to visit my husband's grave. Then I came to look at the river like I did last time. <laughs> Next thing I know, here you are. There's a surprise. I live with one of my kids and my grandchild now. They're all so kind. I just realized that I almost never talked about my kids with you. Hmm. I probably distanced myself from the rest of my family. I was afraid that if I didn't, I was going to depend on them. They're living their own lives. I didn't want to be a burden on them. Hmm. So I wanted them to forget about me. To treat me as if I was dead. Well, that's not a good way to go about it. Jeez. I mean, you're supposed to depend on them. You're elderly. You know, it's their time to take care of you now. And, you know, I don't think they're gonna... That you're a burden to them, surely. But they welcomed me. And now we live together. They take care of me. But I'm taking care of my grandson. Exactly. Free babysitting. What do you know? <laughs> so there's a little give and take there. There really is a place in the world where I belong. I had just assumed that there wasn't one. There are my children. My family. I regret that I didn't talk with them before. My husband's death must have been sad for them, too. After all, they lost their father. Are you still sad? Well... Mm, it's more like... There are times when I get sad. I'm so happy right now. Because, but because of that, I feel sad every now and then. Yeah, you have to be happy to know what sadness is, right? I can't help but think he must have wanted to feel this happiness too. So, I've decided that the best thing I can do is live a long, happy life. I'll make the rest of my life as great as it can be. And then I'll tell my husband about it when I see him again. Then... We'll have all of eternity to be happy together. I'm not afraid anymore. Just a little lonely. Well, at least you have your family. At least you're reunited with them, you know? <laughs> I'll also have to tell him everything that happened in town, too. About this whole crazy year. Those awful murders and how the police solved the case. Yeah, the police. They did it all. I'll definitely have to tell him all about you, too. Well, if he's watching, he probably knows that I'm the one who solved the case, so I'm counting on him to tell you the truth. 
I recently realized something. Precious things remain precious, whether you're alive or dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to all my long-winded monologue. It's fine. It's just like old times. You look like you still have things left to do. You look like you've grown up a lot, Sojan. You're much more handsome now, too. Not as handsome as my husband was, though. <laughs> yeah, okay, tell it to my face then. Sheesh. It's okay. It's fine. I'll see you again. Well then, take care of yourself. You still have a lot of life ahead of you. Thank you for not pulling a Margaret. You feel a close bond between Hasano and yourself. Hasano left without looking back. Why am I looking at the sky? Jesus, it makes it seem like she went to heaven. I know I'm looking up at the stairs, though. And there's that ray of sunshine to the right there. Yeah, there, there are others you share a close bond with. You should, so, you should go say goodbye to them. Come to think of it, you have yet to say goodbye to Yosuke and Teddy. They're probably at Juness. Let's go. Juness Food Court. Hello? Hey, can I talk to you for a moment? My mother-in-law. Oh, God, you're still having trouble. Up until this day, the eve of my departure, you still need my help regarding your mother-in-law. Just make some egg plant scapegoat eggplant that's the one she finally ate my cooking well she went from tired housewife to cheerful housewife it was worth staying at home all winter and putting in the effort i'll keep at it oh well well done i'm glad you resolved that jeez i thought that was going to be another problem i wouldn't be able to cross off my list oh, oh. It seems to be full of energy good doggy nanako and dojima hanging outside big bro yes oh i know it's sad that i'm leaving Hey! Hey, so, how are the goodbyes coming along? Did you see all of your friends? Not all of them. I see. Make sure you leave, don't- Make sure you don't leave here without- with any regrets. I won't. Let's go, let's go! And I still gotta say goodbye to Okina City as well. We scooted all the way over here. Say goodbye to everyone. <sighs> what happened with that woman that was usually opposite you, my friend? She went somewhere far away, but she'll be back. I like how you answered my question. <laughs> I believe it with all my heart. So in the meantime, I'll become a man worthy of her love. All right, you fight the power, brother. I got a new job from a connection I made while developing new products. I start work again in April. I guess I'll be saying goodbye to this place for a while. That's a little lonely. I met a lot of new people here. I'm very grateful for that. Hmm. I was wrong. When I gave him some Valentine's chocolate, the whole village knew about it that same day. I'm so embarrassed and irritated. But the weird thing is, I kind of like it. He was a good sport about accepting it, which made the whole thing amazing. <laughs> I wish I caught up on your uh, dialogue before that, but unfortunately I didn't. How's our movie coming along this time? I think it's pretty good. I don't know. Well, it's at least better than the last one. As long as we try everything. If we fail... Just have to pick ourselves back up. Right? Now, what should we watch today as inspiration? A horror flick. A zombie movie. If we're watching a zombie movie, the limited run strawberry popcorn would be perfect. <laughs> Another zombie movie. 30 frames gives you the hottest new movies and the most addictive grain game. Give it a try. Can I still play? Nope, I have no reason to play it anymore. Sad face. I got a lot of new people coming in. Keeps me busy. Now I have to go to my next client. Sorry. Carry on. I saw a movie with those three the other day. I suggested we watch this, we catch a zombie movie, and they liked it more than I thought. <laughs> it's great to be able to share what I love with other people. Aw, oh, film buff girl, I kind of neglected you. It was kind of a, a journey to travel to Okina City a lot of the time, but um, I'm glad that you worked things out with that group over there. Welcome to the Okina Station office. Peaceful today, isn't it? I've got my hands full these days, taking in wounded kittens and comforting lost children. But it's okay, whatever it takes to keep the peace in this town. Yeah, at least no one's getting strung up on telephone poles. Hey, kid, how are you? It is a mystery. Hey, you'll never be a chick magnet like that. Well, you should have seen me smooch someone in the middle of the shopping district, okay, tough girl? Pfft. There is such a thing as too much energy. Everything in moderation. <laughs> Creepy girl. Not that there's anything here, but why not? Say goodbye to Shichiri Beach, where I caught the Guardian. You should have no reason to come here anymore. <laughs> okay, traveled all that way.
All right, no one's here. This is where Adachi would have stood if he wasn't behind bars. Go to the food court? Yes. Oh, wrong elevator again. Hey, boys. Yo! Yo, so... Sensei, I'm super duper happy that you came to see me! <laughs> this place isn't very bustling right now. Going around saying goodbye, huh? What'd you think of the sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? It must seem weird to you. Huh. I wonder why it began just as you arrived here. I remember that first time. Sensei and Yosuke braving the TV world alone. Boy, I feel so nostalgic. Yeah, ever since then, it was just one surprise after another. <laughs> hmm. Can't imagine how it's going to be like living here without you. Yeah, partner. At least you have Teddy. He's going to be your new partner, I feel. Quiet, peaceful town. No need to use our personas anymore. I can't imagine it either. That's right. We were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. Hmm. A lot of stuff's happened. Facing my true self, and you and me got into a fight, too. S Yosuke! Did you smack Sensei? Oh, how reckless! Of course, moron! Best friends gotta fight sometimes to be best friends. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's right, we did have that fight. I was thinking um, the hospital argument that we had with uh, Namatame. Why didn't you say so earlier? No, 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 we're not gonna go into a scrap here. Sensei, bring it on! Let's fight! No, the first rule of Fight Club was that you don't talk about Fight Club, Yosuke. You're not supposed to say that we beat each other up. Don't hurt him, man. He's gotta get on the train tomorrow. <laughs> I don't wanna see my parents with a black eye. I'm gonna wonder what the hell happened to me in Itaba. Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. You two completely changed my life. And Nana-chan, Yuki-chan, and the others, too. They all helped me. They gave life to me. Life? Come on, man. I mean, I wonder how far off the truth he is with that sentence. You were the one who wanted to change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Oh. Thank you so much, Sensei and Yosuke. I love you. I love you too, man. <laughs> Aw, love is kind of strong. I'll take off my outfit if you want. Please don't. Let's not. <laughs> you feel a solid bond between you, Yosuke, and Teddy. By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Don't you have somewhere to go? Like, meeting someone? Do you want Teddy to come with you? <sighs> no, I think Teddy has to work. There are others you share a close bond with. You should go say goodbye to them. You should say hello to Dojima and Nanako. You should visit the Dojima residence. I thought I had seen them, but okay, sure, let's go. I guess it's the final sort of aspect because we've said goodbye to everyone else. Yeah, the people I, uh, I maxed out, I can't, I didn't max out, sorry. I can't meet with. Big pro. Yep, yep. Hey! So, how are the goodbyes coming along? Did you see all your friends? Oh, I suppose I should say most of them. I see. Do they all cry? Some of them. Let me see your face. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay, I didn't get beat up. Almost did. Hmm. You look a lot more mature now. We've only been getting together for... Well, been together for about a year. But kids grow up surprisingly fast. Oh, Nanako. Nanako? Do you remember what we promised? Take care of yourself, big bro. Don't get sick. I, as long as you don't feed me some chocolate, I'll be okay. You too, Nanako. No, I'm just gonna say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Because I know my departure is going to make you upset. Or it is making you upset. Don't look so sad, Nanako. We're all family, remember? Doesn't matter if we're apart. We can go see him when I get a vacation. <laughs> Which is never. But thankfully, there's no serial murder case taking place, so hopefully he can sneak off some time. But then his subordinate's kind of in jail, so... <laughs> then we can talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other, right? Mm. Yeah. It's not the same, Big though. Big bro! 
will you remember me? Like, I remember I have family in the Philippines, and last time I saw them was, what, like seven years ago now? My goodness. I was meant to go back, but uh, got caught up with life and whatnot, and then I was meant to go back last year, 2020, and then we all know what happened then, so shit. <laughs> of course. It's a promise. Damn it. <sighs> Come on, don't cry. I'm not crying. Oh well. I guess all kids end up being pushed around by their parents. Same goes for you, so. So, it wasn't all that long, all things considered. But I did enjoy your time here with us. I really do think of you as part of my family. Thanks, Tojima. I'm surprised my sister's kid would turn out to be such an upstanding young man. <laughs> <laughs> Give Nanako a call sometime when you have a spare moment. And you're welcome to come visit us anytime. I'll leave your room just like it is. This is your second home, you know? Thanks. <sighs> you feel a solid bond between Dojima, Nanako, and yourself. When I grow up, I want to marry you, big bro. Oh, <laughs> Nanako. Oh, jeez. That's such a kid thing to say, isn't it? Like, oh god. You precious thing. <laughs> You're a stud, so... Oh, well, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> sure, Nanako, if he's still available by the time you're an adult. But that'll be a long time, won't it, so? Right? <laughs> Dojima smiles, but he's looking straight into your eyes and doesn't seem to be joking. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be fine. By the way, have you said goodbye to everyone yet? You've asked me that already twice. You still have a lot of time today. Why don't you go around Inaba and see everyone who will miss you? Besides, I don't think you've really had the whole peaceful small town experience while you were here. <laughs> now that I think about it, that case began shortly after you arrived, and it finally ended a few months ago. Yep. Killer's still out there, huh? Right in front of your eyes. Or maybe even right beside you. <laughs> I remember the conspiracy theories I've made on the Discord regarding Nanako being the mastermind, my goodness. All that stuff about how, like, the first day she was... Well, the first day we were here and she had to do laundry was her cleaning up the bloody clothes. <laughs> Basically, it all happened while you were here in Inaba. I guess it was just a quirk of fate. Isn't that suspicious? <laughs> anyway, you should get going. We'll be going home, too. You've said goodbye to all the people you have formed close bonds with. You should return to your house to prepare for tomorrow. Huh. So, this is the fabled question that I am supposed to say no to. Haha, I did it! Are you happy? Are you happy I remembered? <laughs> okay, apparently I need to find something to get a wholesome scene of some kind. So, I guess let's hunt for that before we wrap things up. Hey. 